So, yeah, how much fun are you having with this show? <laughs> uh, I'm having a blast on this show. It's, if you need me to talk slower, you're going to like it's just a gift to, you know, this show was was gone five years ago, the height of its popularity, and it's a gift to come back and get to do it again with the same cast. It's so fun. So I, I, it kind of seems like even though they're exaggerated and some flaws are added that were not necessarily present in the original one, they seem a little bit more pure characters, a little truer than an original show. I don't know if I'd use the word pure, because there's definitely a, a truth and a purity before, but uh, you see a little bit more... Well, it's, it's lighter. You don't see the, the, a lot of the darkness that the original series had, which I love the dark stuff, but it, it's fun to see some of the lighter, brighter stuff. What do you think it adds, uh, like you record your voices all together? What do you think that adds to the show? Uh, I'm sorry, what was the first part that we record together? Yeah, because a lot of animation is quite separate. It's true. I'm on some other shows where they record us separately, which which is cool too, but uh, the special thing about this show is that we do get to record together in the same room and play off of each other. And while while the scripts are very well written and, uh, and great, uh, the writers and producers actually encourage us to play off each other and throw in little ad libs here and come up with our own ideas for stuff too. And so that's that's one of the great things about everybody being together at once. How much of your sort of like, how much of your ad libs do you make it through? There? That'd be a question for them, but but stuff airs like uh, uh, Cyborg. Cyborg, there was one episode where he's like, I am a genius, I am a genius, I'm a genie in a bottle, I'm a genie. Like, that was all him, that was all Kari. You know? So, uh, stuff makes it in, which is cool. We talked to Greg a little bit about how uh, Teen Titans Go is very much a, a show that brings his character over almost unchanged and just kind of brings everyone up to, to the level of his character in terms of weirdness. But Robin, as a character, is kind of the one who ha- who has the most adjustments and even within the show seems to have the most trouble adjusting to not fighting a guy who's trying to kill him all the time. Absolutely. Uh, was that, uh, was that, coming back to the character, was that like an adjustment that you had to make, or was it easy to just like snap into a new style? Uh, no, it was definitely an adjustment. Um, yeah, for like the first two or three episodes, I kept asking them, "Are you sure? I don't know that Robin would, would scream like this. I don't know." And finally, I just like I just jumped on board and committed. And uh, the character I'm playing him is still coming from the same truthful place, and uh, you just get to see these different sides of him that you wouldn't see when he's out in fighting villains with his. You know, proverbial armor up. You see him kind of letting his guard down, and he does have a hard time doing things like not going on the mission and just relaxing, like in the episode "Do Relax." Uh, you talk about the the darkness and that episode where he can't relax, like the the one where they talk about that, and he thinks back to the circus, and it's not mentioned in the show. But you know, obviously, if you're a fan of this character, it's like, oh right, he can't relax because his parents died in front of him. <laughs> right, right, right. That's the first. Yeah, I think yeah. in that episode he says, uh, "The first thing I remember is the circus." And yeah. Yeah. The, la- the last time he was able to re- relax. Yeah, so you understand why he's kind of quirky. <laughs> his earliest memories of or around the time where his parents died. So, so what's it like, um, you know, doing Robin in in having him do things that we don't normally see Robin do, like you know, kind of lying and kind of doing some backstabbing, which um, or or being lazy and, and and pushing his responsibilities on the others, like. Those are totally like things that you don't expect Robin to do, but you know every other iteration we've seen of Robin, he's like the, the over super overachiever. Yeah, I, well, he's still an overachiever. I think when it comes down to it, he's he's very truthful. But uh, yeah, he it is interesting to see him having to go take his driver's test. Like this is the guy who you know rips around Jump City on the R cycle, or to go stand in line with common people at the grocery store to get a loaf of bread. <laughs> <laughs> Tara Strong, yo. And uh, yeah, it, it, it's interesting to play that. I'm sorry, I got distracted by the tickles from Tara. <laughs> so I don't know if I answered your question fully. But, you know, it's just, um, you know, to, to see kind of that your character kind of do, you know, completely 180 in this show. Um, you know, I guess, what, what are you hoping to, to maybe further see? Uh, well, I, I think... The, the writers continue to push the scripts and our, our producers are storylines are getting even crazier and more fun so I'm just excited to see where they take it and uh, we've, had, we've had some guest characters from the past that are resurfacing so uh, that's kind of fun too and, and uh, it's the same actors who played those characters in the original series coming back to play them again for, for you uh, voiceover fans it's the same actors 
so I, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited to see where it's going to go. Can you tell who the characters are? Yeah. All right. That would be a question for Aaron Horvath, because I don't want to be like called the guy who's like, you know, spoiler. So I don't know what I can say in case. Um, what's been your favorite episode to work on? Is there one that stands out the most? Yeah, there, there's a, <laughs> there's one that has not aired yet. It's coming up called Puppets What? And then uh, there's another one. I forget the title. Why those? Uh, as a voice actor, I got to do some fun, some fun stuff. In it. So yeah, I think that's all I'm allowed to say. <laughs> you look at your couch differently now. <laughs> when I look at my couch, I hear Greg Sipes going, "Dude, just relax." <laughs> You relax? Oh no, the couch is Kari. Yeah, 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 baby, the couch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, yeah, yeah.